Hey there, future remote work rock stars. Are you tired of soul-crushing commutes and fluorescent cubicles? Well, guess what? It's 2024 and the remote work revolution is still in full swing. But here's the kicker. You don't need years of experience to join in. That's right. Today, I'm bringing you seven work from home jobs you can start right now, even if your resume is as blank as a fresh Google Doc. Now, if you're new here, my name is Shane and I've made it my mission to help people just like you escape the nine to five grind and build a life of freedom through remote work. Now, before we dive in, let me paint a picture for you. Imagine waking up when you want, working in your PJs if you feel like it, and having the freedom to travel while still earning a paycheck. Sounds too good to be true? Well, buckle up because I'm about to show you how it's possible. Let's kick things off with something a little unexpected. How about becoming a virtual pet sitter? Yes, you heard that right. You'll be monitoring pets through webcams, interacting with them via speakers, and alerting owners of any issues. And the salary range starting off is usually about 10 to $20 per hour, with potential to increase as you build a client base. Now, the key skills here are a love for animals, attention to detail, and basic tech savviness. And the way to get started is to sign up on platforms like Rover or Care.com, emphasizing your love for animals in your profile. And gently cheers the like button if you love animals. Number two is going to be an online meme curator. And yes, this is a job that might make your parents scratch their heads because you're gonna be finding, creating, and scheduling memes for brand social media accounts. And believe it or not, this is a real job that is listed on ZipRecruiter and you make about 15 to $25 per hour. What? So all those years of studying memes and having a sense of humor actually might pay off. Now, some key skills here are understanding internet culture, creativity, and basic image editing skills. And you wanna build a portfolio of your best memes and apply to social media agencies or directly to brands looking to spice up their online presence. Next on the list, job three is going to be a junior sales development representative. Now, for those of you looking to break into the world of tech and potentially earn some serious cash, consider becoming a junior sales development representative or also known as SDR. Now, you'll be reaching out to potential customers, qualifying leads, and setting up meetings for senior sales reps. And the salary range here is $57,000 to $86,000 a year, with a median total pay of $69,000 a year. Now, some key skills here are great communication, persistence, and a basic understanding of sales principles. And the way to get started is to research tech companies with SDR openings and tailor your resume to highlight your communication skills. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Sales? I don't have any experience. But here's the thing. Many companies are willing to train the right candidates. In fact, I've got something that can give you a massive head start. I'm offering a free training that will teach you the fundamentals of tech sales and how to land a job as a business development representative. And this training has helped hundreds of people just like you break into the tech industry. So the link to access the free training is in the description and the pinned comment below. And trust me, your future self will thank you for taking this step. All right, let's move on to a classic remote job that's always in demand, which is a data entry specialist. Mm, very in demand. Now, is this job very boring and monotonous? Yes, but is there still a ton of opportunity and it's relatively easy to get into? Also, yes. And you'll be inputting data into computer systems, updating databases, and ensuring information accuracy. Now, the salary range here is typically $13 to $18 per hour with opportunities for higher pay as you gain speed and accuracy. Now, some key skills here are fast typing, attention to detail, and basic computer proficiency. And a great way to get started is to practice your typing skills and apply on platforms like FlexJobs or Indeed. Now, do you know someone who's always been complaining about their job? I hate my job! Well, share this video and maybe they'll find something here that doesn't suck as much. Now let's talk about becoming a social media moderator. This job is perfect for those of you who practically live on social media already, because you'll be monitoring comments, managing community guidelines, and ensuring a positive online environment for brands or influencers. Now the salary range here is gonna be 14 to $20 per hour with potential for higher rates as you gain experience. And some key skills you wanna have or develop would be good judgment, thick skin, and familiarity with various online social media platforms. Now a way to get started is to look for openings on job boards or to reach out directly to brands and influencers that you admire. Now, if you're tired of scrolling through other people's content and you wanna start making bank with your own, listen up. The secret to getting views is what's known as the holy trifecta. And I actually teach people exactly how to do this completely free, which you can check out in the description and the pinned comment below. This is my way of giving back to people and teaching them exactly what I know. And this is what I wish I had when I first started on YouTube. Moving on to our sixth job, virtual assistant. This is a great option if you're organized and you love helping others. I could help others. Now you're gonna be handling tasks like email management, scheduling, and basic customer service for entrepreneurs or small businesses. And the salary range here is 15 to $25 per hour with potential to increase as you specialize. Now some key skills here would be organization, time management, and proficiency in basic office software. And the way to get started is to create a profile on platforms like Upwork or Fiverr, highlighting your organizational skills. So drop a comment below to tell me which of these jobs you'd actually consider because I'm curious to see what you think. Next we've got transcriptionist. And this job is perfect for those of you with a keen 
keen ear and fast fingers because you're gonna be converting audio and video files into written documents. Now the salary range here is 15 to $25 per hour with potential to earn more as you gain speed and take on specialized transcription. Some key skills are excellent listening skills, fast and accurate typing and attention to detail. And the way to get started is to practice your typing and transcription skills, then apply on sites like Rev or Transcribe Me. Quick break, so I know you guys wanna know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also wanna know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you wanna work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is gonna be an administrative support specialist. And basically you're the ultimate organizer in this position that keeps everything running smoothly for busy professionals. And you're basically gonna be wearing many hats from scheduling meetings and managing calendars to handling travel arrangements and coordinating events. We can be anyone. And administrative support specialists make about forty-five to sixty-six thousand dollars a year. And some other career paths you might go down are customer success associate; they make about fifty-eight to ninety-five thousand a year. Marketing coordinator; they make about fifty-three to eighty thousand dollars a year. Or project manager; they make about eighty-two to one hundred forty thousand dollars a year. That's a lot of money. So these are three very common positions that you might also go into if you went into this role. And next is going to be an operations assistant. And operations is basically how a business is run. It's all the boring stuff that, you know, isn't, you know, super exciting like marketing or sales or coming up with some kind of new awesome strategy to save the world, making sure that logistics are taken care of, things get to the right place at the right time, making sure that the right positions are hired at the right time, et cetera, et cetera. So basically coordinating tasks, managing communications, and ensuring that projects stay on track. And as an operations assistant you can make about forty two to sixty one thousand dollars a year and you'd likely be the assistant to the operations manager and another position you could move into would be operations coordinator they make about fifty two to eighty three thousand dollars a year and then of course the operations manager themselves they make about eighty four to one hundred forty six thousand dollars a year so yeah this one's really good leads into a great career path I think operations is a great skill set to learn now I know some of you might be thinking this all sounds great but is it really possible to land these jobs with no experience or maybe you're worried about falling for a scam and let me tell you something Thing, I get it. When I first started looking for remote work, I had the exact same concerns. But here's the truth. Companies are increasingly valuing skills and attitude over experience. They want people who are eager to learn and grow. As for scams, yes, they're out there. But if you stick to a reputable online job board and do your research on companies before applying, you'll be just fine. Remember, legitimate companies won't ask you to pay for training or equipment up front. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more remote work tips and opportunities. And hey, if you land one of these jobs, come back and let me know in the comments. I love hearing your success stories. Also, check out this video right here on seven remote job companies that are almost always hiring. Millions of people have watched it.